imagine a school week where students are less stressed because they only have four classes each day. With, let's say, only sitting in math and English every other day. This type of schedule is called a block schedule. And there are many pros and cons to this type of schedule. The pros that I found, I found on a, I found on an article on the Inspire database that with schedules like these, there are fewer failing grades and more A's and B's. There are many different types of block schedules and the two most common are the 4x4 schedule and the A slash B schedule. The 4x4 schedule is when students only sit in four classes each day and sit for a whole semester instead of the typical seven. And then the A slash B schedule is when students alternate between two different classes each every other day. However, um, some schools put a different spin on the types of schedules. For example, another article that I found on the Inspire database, the Evergreen High School near the Oregon-Washington border have a 4x4 schedule, but change classes each trimester instead of semester. Having a block schedule would give kids less stress with homework and overall work, plus give them more time for extracurricular activities. First, I'm going to talk about why this is a problem, then some of the counter arguments, and finally, what we can do to solve this problem. Now that I've talked about the background, let's dig into why we should change the structure of our schedules. So this is a problem because speaking as a student that enjoys to do many different activities outside of school, I often get the most homework on the days that I'm the most busy resulting in me turning in assignments late. I also know myself and I know other students that if we do have a study hall, we won't use it productively and we'll just sit there on our phones or playing on our laptops. And so homework, which makes us all more stressed at night to finally get that done. So now that I've addressed why this is a problem, Let's talk about why some people will disagree. Some people worry that teachers will not take the whole class period to teach you or give you time for your assignments. However, as block scheduling is linked to less behavioral issues among students and more students coming to school every day, according to an article I found on Inspire titled, Block Scheduling in Large Urban High Schools Affects on Academic Achievement, Student Behavior, and Staff Perception. Approximately one-third of teachers observed improvements in student promptness and attendance with a reduction in student misconduct in their classrooms and school-wide. In addition, over half the teachers noticed that because of fewer passing periods, the hallways appeared to stay cleaner. 41% of counselors observed that disciplinary problems in general have decreased at their at their school and 50% agreed that there has been a, dis a decrease in disciplinary problems between classes. In addition, 37% observed an increase in average daily attendance. So now that I've talked a little bit more about the pros and cons, I'll talk about what we can do. I'm proposing using the A slash B type of schedule. As students are getting just as many credits each semester as they are right now, but but they will have a probability of getting better grades and less stress each night. So now that I've explained which type of schedule I'm proposing for to solve this problem, we should all talk about what it will be like. So think of a world where typical students like myself that enjoy to be involved in a lot of different activities don't have seven homework assignments each night each lasting around an hour. In conclusion, join me in helping the students who have too much stress with homework every night. In this speech, I talked about what a block schedule was, the, pro the problems with the traditional schedule, opposing viewpoints, how to solve the problem, and finally, what our school days would look like. I urge you all to vote and pass having a block schedule to replace our traditional schedule. The choice is ultimately up to you. 
However, while you're making this decision, just think about all the student athletes, people in many different clubs, students that have jobs, or other outside of school activities. 